Sup y'all, bring guys in our video. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing. And please hit that like button. It helps out the channel, it helps out the video. I'd really appreciate it. So anyway, Filip Hergovic versus Raidel Booker. They recently fought over in the undercard of Devin Haney versus Yori Yorikas Gamboa. Fight was shown live on the zone. You can watch the whole entire fight on the zone right now if you want to see it. Or you can watch the highlights here on YouTube. Just go to the official YouTube channel of The Zone and you can watch the full highlights, uh, the full card highlights, which includes this fight. Or you can watch uh, the highlights of this fight specifically. So, uh, yeah, it's available here on YouTube. So, anyway, fight lasted five rounds with Hergovic winning this fight by TKO in round five. Referee stepped in and stopped the fight. Booker got dropped in the second round from a series of punches from Hergovic. Every single round was pretty much all Hergovic just putting a beating on Booker. It was a one-sided fight, one-sided beatdown. Booker barely landed a punch. Um, it, it was all Hergovic. I mean, I'm watching this fight and I'm like, damn, man, this Booker guy can take a punch. When is he going down? When is he getting knocked out? And finally, the referee just stepped in and he was like, you're taking too much punishment. That's enough. Because he was still a live dog, man. Booker was still, you know, still there mentally, but... Obviously, look at his physical physique. <laughs> the guy just showed up for a paycheck, let's be honest. Um, no surprise here. Filip Hergovic improves to 12-0. 10 wins come by way of Nakar TKO. Um, you know, with this win, it, it's a stay busy win. That's the way I look at this fight. Leading up to this fight, and I mentioned it in previous videos, that this fight is a stay busy fight for Filip Hergovic. And he just did that. He went out there, stayed busy. Went five rounds against Booker, stopped him in five rounds. Booker suffers his fourth loss in his pro career, first time being stopped as a professional at the age of 39 years old. 39 years old. Uh, if you follow The Zone on Twitter, they actually posted a clip of uh, Hergovic saying he's too old. I don't know if you guys can hear this, but I'll play it a little bit. Big shot. Good job for the referee, man. You're too old. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys hear that? Uh, he said, good job to the referee. Uh, you're too old. And that's true, man. Uh, Booker is too old. He's 39 years old. He took a long layoff 14 years after losing to James Stoney back in 2004. Took 14 years off the sport of boxing. Came back in 2018. Um, yeah, he's, he's too old. 39. And the way he looks, he he's too old. It's probably... Uh, time to retire i mean i'm sure he made good money being offered to fight hergovic and offered to fight Pulab in november of last year so i'm sure he made good money this year and last year but uh, i think it's time to hang up the gloves for rydell booker um in the case of philip hergovic you know this is just it's it's just still the beginning i mean he's only been a pro for three years and obviously with covid uh affecting pretty much everybody around the world um you know he kind of took a year break pretty much because of covid uh but at least he fought twice this year F uh one one in europe and one here in the states um so at least he fought twice so he unlike other fighters who barely fought this year uh Hergovic was able to put two fights in before the end of the year um wouldn't mind seeing him in there against anybody in the top 15 for next year 2021 a lot of these names are under matchroom similar to Hergovic obviously Uzik is a big one Dillian White's a big one Joseph Parker's a big one um, Michael Hunter's a big one Chisora you know these are big names in the heavyweight division and I hope he at least fights one of them just one of them in 2021 please Eddie Eddie Hearn and match him and Sourland, Team Sourland, um, you know, put him in there against at least one of these names in 2021, and I'll be happy. Because I, I said it before, and I'll say it again, Filip Petrovic definitely has what it takes to be a world champion. He is definitely somebody you need to keep an eye on. I was excited for when I saw him fight live in person when he fought here in the, in, uh, the U.S., in Maryland, where I live, against Gregory Corbin, and I was like, man, this guy's exciting. I can't wait for him to see him in there against the likes of Joshua, Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder. Very underrated fighter, very underrated boxer.
please, 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 the matchmakers, Eddie Hearn, Matchroom, the promoters, managers, put him in a big fight in 2021. So anyway, if you saw the fight, let me know what did you think about it in the comment section below. Congrats to Herkovic on the one-sided beatdown win. Like I said, it's just a stay busy fight. It's a stay busy fight in my opinion. Actually, let me see how people reacted to this on the highlights. The specific highlights. This guy said, I hope Herkovic fights a real fighter sometime. Looks like he's just adding chaos to his record. Yeah, I mean, one day. One day. Yeah, so some people are saying that let's see him against actual competition. Um, no real test for the prospect. Booker was just a punching bag wearing shorts. <laughs> Oh man, that's funny. You're too old. Uh, straight tomato can. Uh, as a Croatian, I respect Herkovic a lot, but he needs to top ten. He deserves top ten. Yep. Yeah. He he needs he needs he really needs because the the criticism is coming in. A lot of people are realizing that he's fighting nobodies or people who we know he can definitely win. So it's definitely at that point of his career where he needs to step in there against any of the top fifteen guys, any of these guys, any of these names. Any of these names, I'll be happy with just stepping there against them in 2021. One or two of them in 2021. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't yet. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Please, and like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.